More companies want to find employees. Spokane saw a 66% jump in job postings from last year to this year on Indeed.com. So the need is there, but the labor market isn't. Esther Bauer breaks down what's keeping people away and how the pandemic shifted the path forward in the workforce. Parts of the kitchen are closed here at the main market co-op because they can't find enough workers. The pandemic changed people's priorities. Some left the workforce, some changed careers. So now filling these positions is harder than ever. A shift is real. A shift in the workforce that isn't an easy fix. We have labor shortages all over the place. I don't think any one thing we can point to is going to magically bring in the 10,000 workers or so that we need. Ryan Herzog teaches economics at Gonzaga. He says multiple factors have caused these shortages. People may not be coming back because of COVID concerns, vaccine mandates, unemployment program benefits, or childcare expenses. And then there's online opportunities. I think COVID definitely pushed me to um, look at other opportunities. Andrew Gunther left his in-person sales job and now works from home. I don't see myself moving back into person I see myself working remote long term. A long term choice he's glad he made. Some employers, however, are holding out hopes Herzog isn't sure will pan out. I think a lot of employers were holding off this summer thinking we would get a wave of people entering the labor market when the pandemic unemployment assistance programs ended. Those didn't happen. He says companies have to find ways to stand out and draw people in with flexible schedules, better pay and more opportunities. And while they wait to fill these positions here at Main Market, they're taking this time to revamp their menu and come up with new ways to better serve their customers. Reporting in Spokane, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.